Hey guys, welcome back. I'd originally intended to call it there for today, but it seems like it's almost done. This has got to be the last part, surely. It's seeming very endish, end game. So I thought, fuck it, let's get it done. Let's get it done, eh? Been really enjoying this, so. May as well seat through to the conclusion all in the same day, why not? Wait, um, where am I going? Oh, yeah, 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 I remember now. I remember now, no. No. I was right, though. Wasn't I not right that she'd appear in that room? I, I fucking told you. I fucking called that. I called this game. So many different bits in this game I called. Here we go. Now we can use this. I've inserted all four of the laboratory keys. There's no turning back now. Discard this card? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes to them all. Discard all those cards. Hey, Tom, wait up. I'm coming too. You useless fuck. Do not just fucking flash me in the fucking face with your big face. Oh, good. It's text. Whew. So you did show up after all. Terra? You're the one who we came all this way here to see? Wait a minute. You're the one who we came all the way here to see? Ah, there we go. It is late at night. Come here, break. What's going on here? I may as well tell you now, since you've made it this far. Now that you're here, in the place where it all happened, you'll remember it all soon anyway. Remember what? Why is this place so important? This is where time crashed, three months ago tonight. The incident that occurred here was so disorientating for the both of you that your memories were wiped completely clean. Unlike Claire's mind, far from completely clean. Nicked your chair. Two cats, nicked your chair. It's a gang. That's why you don't have more than one cat, because they form a gang. See, they don't use weapons and knives and shit like that. They use fucking cuteness and meows. God damn it! It's strangely even more effective on a human for getting what they want than a gun. In a few minutes, when this machine activates and pulls us all into the time crash itself, it all comes flooding back. While we wait for that to happen, let me give you those answers you came here to find. Oh my god, thank you. I don't think she's got enough time. I don't think she's got enough time to answer all these questions. There was like three in one line sometimes. You're saying that we've been here before? We were involved in the accident before? That accident that... In the accident that occurred? Where did it before come from? Oh, Indeed! That's exactly what I'm saying. Perhaps I'm not being forward enough. If I'm going to tell you everything, it's no harm that you know who I really am. I really? Shadow Man, I didn't call that at all. A shadow creature, so you've been leading us along all this whole this whole time. Oh, where the fuck ever you sit. No doubt you've noticed me trailing you ever since you first arrived in town. I couldn't reveal who I really was to you then, but now the end is nigh. Oh wait, oh, I thought you were going to go into something else, but now the end is nigh. Yeah, I can tell you who I am, but no, apparently not. Th now that the end is nigh. End. I presume by now that you've realised that it was us who instigated the accident which occurred here and the merge at the Marchani complex as well. We've begun to think something similar. The only thing that I still don't know is why you've done such a thing in the first place. When we're strong enough, us shadow, us shadow beings can command almost limitless power. Stranded on this planet, so far from our original home, we have been weakened immensely. Ever since we awakened underneath the beyond all those years ago, we've been trying to slowly regain our former strength so that we could finally begin the conquest of this world that we came here to do. Our power is bolstered by negative energy. As death and destruction occur around us, we feed upon the misery and become more powerful. We've almost, we'd almost regained our full strength when that full Faraday defeated us in the catacombs of that mansion. Oh, he's a good guy, that Faraday. Okay. The destruction of our puppet... Oh, okay. Yeah, destruction of our puppet. Not Big Bird. Or, oh, no, Big Bird's not a puppet. He's a fucking guy in a suit. And it might have to say Big Bird of all the puppets. Couldn't have said Kermit. Couldn't. Cookie Monster's a guy in a suit, isn't it? Isn't it? I thought he's pretty big. Is it just. Oh, okay. I thought he were a guy in a suit as well. Oh, well. No, 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 he's not, is he? No, no, I'll think about it. No, he's not. I didn't actually watch that much Sesame Street, you know. I swear to God, I must have seen about two episodes in my entire life. Yeah, I, I never saw much. I was too busy watching Transformers and shit. It is. I learnt more in Transformers than what I would have learnt in Sesame Street. One ah ah ah. Two ah ah ah. 
<laughs> yeah, I told you I've seen a couple of episodes. I didn't say I knew it like back to front. And the count thing's pretty fucking legendary. Like, th there's a few things which are always known, like count does his fucking counting stuff, and he goes like one, ah, 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 two, ah, 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 and all that kind of shit. That fucking bin monster fucking green thing, Grouch, Oscar the Grouch, that's the one. And um, Big Bird takes drugs. The guy in the suit takes drugs. Yeah. All the, all the, well, I don't know, but all these three things are known. So, that's how I knew that. It's like, it's like, um, Game of Thrones and shit like that, like, it is known. It is known. Those three things, it is known. Anyway. The destruction of our puppet, the house's original owner, reduced us almost to nothing. But all was not lost. Using our, our last bit of power, we brought Faraday under our control to replace the vessel he had killed. His body now inhabited by our leader, my father, Faraday became instrumental to our comeback. Alone, he came to Stillwater and soon rose in status until he became a man of considerable influence. In the meantime, we slowly regained some power from the few victims we had killed since our defeat. We desired a new base of operations and shifted our monolith to its current location in the coal mine. That's an interesting story. But what's it got to do with what happened here? We were amassing power to s s too slowly for our liking. We would be dead at this rate by the time we were powerful enough to advance upon humanity. We began looking for a way of generating a lot of negative energy at once. This is when we heard of Marchanis researching quantum physics. When we understood what a merge was, we realised that it was possible to create a limitless supply of power. By using the technology to tap into the chaotic void that had been created by the merge, we would be able to gather all the energy we needed. But it didn't work out. Oh well. Next time, ever. Our rise to power was halted, yet again. I managed to dismantle the merge and return the facility back to normality. Your power source was suddenly cut off. <laughs> That's right, we began to despair, but we pressed on, having Faraday sponsor, us ferv having Faraday sponsor further research into the area. Finally, we made a breakthrough. We gained the ability to travel back into the past. This meant that we could manipulate time and create a parallel timeline where the merge had never ended. We might not have been able to create a new merge, but we would certainly just uh, but we would certainly just as well siphon energy from a world where the first one never ended. Indeed, this is what we decided to do. Since the machine was under the jurisdiction of researchers outside of our direct control, we had to hijack the machine. The best time to do this was naturally the press conference, where its use was to be trialled for the first time. We switched the machine settings with our own and convinced them to use one of our people as the time traveller. Your goal was to have them kill Cole, right? You wanted to kill Cole and create a parallel universe where he never ended the merge, didn't you? You bastards. That's right, Tom. Oh, sorry. That's right, Tom. That's right, Tom! <laughs> I thought I was saying, that's right, Tom, that guy. That's, oh, wait, no, no. Wait, wait, that's right, Tom. Sorry, you're Tom. Our, our leader selected the person he trusted the most to carry out this act which would determine the fate of our entire species. He chose you, Tom. His son, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I was right. There we go. I swear to God. Okay. His son. My brother. Exclamation mark. You chose Tom? What do you mean? How could you have chosen Tom? Tom's not... On the contrary. The truth is, Tom, you are a being of shadow too. Just like moi. The time crash wiped your memory clean and you were trapped in this human body which we had forged for you. But how? If this is true, why did I forget it all? I knew there was something wrong with me. You don't send a t I told you you don't send a time traveller about that you want to time travel properly. We a fucking t-shirt with a skull on it. That's not what you do. You send him back naked, you send him back trench coated, you send him back suited. Well, I'm talking to anybody that'll listen, really. So, so if you choose to, fair enough. Oh, fair enough then. You fucking get back to your fucking level 20 or 2 image, I don't fucking care. 25? Well, my apologies. My, your mid 20s to image. I beg, I beg your pardon. But how? If this is true, why did I forget it all? The cult from this timeline somehow found out what we were trying to do. This man you've been working with this whole time? He tried to kill you to stop you from carrying out your duty, and his meddling caused time itself to crash. He interrupted you just as you were about to deliver the final blow. Time spun out of control. The two timelines merged into one. Two different worlds. 
one where Colt lived and one where he died. The monsters from the alternate timeline surged through the town and all hell broke loose. We weren't powerful enough to place them under our control and soon we were also in danger. It was made worse by the leader. That monster you've been pursued all around town by had a personal vendetta against us. She knew it was us who had caused her to become what she was. She wanted revenge. She? That monster was a woman? No. Did you never look at it? I mean, granted, it's pretty scary. Just you know, scream and stuff like that. Ah! But, you know, like, you could open an eye and have a look. That monster was a woman, but then that can only mean one thing. Actually, no. It, it doesn't necessarily mean this one thing I assume you're about to say. But, that's right. Your beloved Tiffany is alive and well, but as you can see, in this case, she was better off dead. Yeah. It could have meant more than that one thing, but it didn't. So, Colt managed to follow your plans once again. Why lure us back here? What's done is done, isn't it? This world has been in flux since the time crash. It cannot return to normal and separate the timelines once more because the event that serves as a diversion point has not yet resolved. While you both live, it cannot be stopped. So what, there's like a conflict going down or something like that, and um, until it's resolved, it can't resume properly. I don't know if it works like that. I don't think it works like that at all. Anyway. I don't pretend, I'm not fucking Doc Brown, but still. I don't think Doc Brown said anything about this. I lured you back here to complete what was interrupted three months ago. Tom, it is your duty to kill Colt, and that is what you have come here to do. We look at each other. No! Yes. No, I refuse to do it. I'm not one of you. I have my own free will. You can burn in hell for all I care. I don't give a shit. Very well then. I didn't think you'd do it that easily. Your true identity is still clouded by the false identity which you adopted when you took control of the human body you now inhabit. <gasps> but soon, we will be inside the void, at the very heart of the time crash, and there, your memories will return, and you will know what to do. Fchink! Oh snap, where are we going? Mars. I wish. I want to go to Mars now. You maybe want to play Doom 3. <laughs> I want to play Doom 3 now, because she said that. I I remember now. Everything. All of my memories have come flooding back. I know everything. Oh, fucking fool himself. He gets his memory back. I fucking know everything, me. Asshole. I know what I have to do now. It's the only thing that can be done. What? What are you doing? You can't. He can. Off goes his head. Or bits of it, anyway. There, now that wasn't too hard, was it? I knew that once your memory returned, you'd make the right choice. Aha. But do you? Terra, I'm sorry I have to put you through so much. I'm just glad... Sorry. I'm sorry I put you through so much. I'm just glad that I have now returned to you. <laughs> Where are we? We're currently standing in the midst of the pocket world lying in the very centre of the time crash. We're currently in between all dimensions that exist and outside of time itself. What, like that X-Men episode where Apocalypse goes to like the uh, end of the time or something like that and you can do all kinds of cool shit. Anyway. Access to this place should not even exist, but now that you... you did you know that that janitor guy is Doctor Strange? Anyway. Eliminated that interloper. We shouldn't be here for much longer. Nobody's really fucking know what the fuck I'm talking about apart from about five people. Someone's Fucking voyeur shit going down. We, sh uh, we shouldn't be here for much longer. We just have to wait for time to readjust itself. So it's all over then. The time is realigning its... Oh, I can't, I can't even do a record apocalypse impression, but even then, if it did it, once again, only five people know what the fuck I'm talking about. You see, Clay, you don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, that doesn't surprise me. You don't even watch fucking Star Wars, so... <laughs> so it's no surprise you don't know, like, the, um, the X-Men fucking arc that I'm talking about, but anyway. It's actually quite recommended, guys. It's very fun. But anyway. What was it? Where was I reading? Oh wait, here we go. So it's all over then. Yeah, I was playing a game one, I forgot about that. Even those monsters? That twisted version of Tiffany that had been hunting us like dogs? The monsters will return to their home timeline. They won't be able to harm us. All we have to do is wait. Do you have like a Nintendo DS or something? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Damn, I thought you said they wouldn't harm us. Well, I was proven wrong. It looks like they're not going to go home calmly. Tom, there's no escape from here. We're going to have to fight. They've cornered us. Damn, they want blood because of their dead friend here. You're right, Terra. No more running. This ends here. What fucking changing character in time? Oh, wait, 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 I'm running away. I can't. Oh, electric saw, eh? 
The enemy attack does 24 points of damage to you. I don't care. I can't. Is this guy gonna help me? Use electric sword. Wait a minute. Can I get a fucking? Can I get like anything I wanted? I can't do no. I've been pushed into time. Who's this guy with a fucking reaper fucking get up going down? What's he doing? You wanna be? Get out of my fucking videos. Um, first aid kit, why not? I mean, I'm in, I'm in the middle of time and I can't do no one. Well, he's dead. Oh, I'm alright now. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking. Oh, wait. Um. Brace myself. Oh, uh, you know what? Supplies, battery pack. Shall we place the battery pack? Yes, please. Full power again. Use electric saw. This is gonna feel great against you, you shouting slut. Scream no more once I've cut you down. I don't care if you're a fucking spirit, I'm gonna fucking chainsaw you. Scream no more, cow. Scream no more. What the fuck? Did the f it did that just to prove me wrong. It screamed for nothing. It did, I, I don't know why it didn't make me fucking jump. Cause it's like, yay, no more screaming. Sweet. Raw, bitch. It's like, Oh, well I guess one more, but you know, I don't, I don't know. It seems like it was her pitch that made me jump. The other types of screams were fine, they didn't make me jump. Anyway, you did it Tom, you saved us all, our people will never forget what you did. As somebody goes and messes around with the timeline and shit. I know, I'm happy that our people are going to survive, but still. It did well Tom, what's wrong? Is it that agent? Do you feel pity for him? No. Um, I know what had to be done. I know I did well, but I can't stop thinking. I miss her. Alyssa. Tom, she can't come back. She never existed to begin with, you dumb fucker. <laughs> you know that now. I know, but I can't help it. I came to Stillwater to find my sister, and I failed. No, you succeeded, Tom. You found me. We're all glad to have you back with us. We're even an happy ending for the bad guys here, good. I'm glad to be back too. No, forget it. It's just a memory, fucker. A false one at that. Let's move on. Piss it, fucker. Mm. That's it, Tom. Only the future awaits us now. Come. We better get going. There's a whole world out there waiting for our arrival. No, are you going to setting up for a war to kill all the humans have an infinite supply of energy and all kinds of shit like that? What the fuck? There we go, I told you. The events that unfolded in Stillwater served as the prelude to a much greater horror that would engulf the world. I fucking caught I swear to god, it must be because the game has borrowed so heavily from so many games and films. It got to the point where like you could connect the dots and the dot was like a fucking like a sun, a planet on the fucking screen, like connect that planet to that planet. It's like, maybe because it borrowed so heavily it was a little bit predictable and stuff like that, but... Still good though, probably enjoyed this. Having succeeded in eliminating Colt from the timeline and thus managing to keep the merge open, the Shadow People quickly amassed power and they launched their invasion of the world a mere two months after the incident. With no chance of combating the full power of the Shadow People, the world's nat nations collapsed quickly. Humanity was slaughtered on a massive scale, and the Shadow People greedily satisfied their own dying hunger. 500 years have passed since the battle that was lost in Stillwater, Earth is dead and barren, and the sun shines down upon the ruinous remnants of a once great civilization. Excuse me, I burped. Tom and Terra's descendants are preparing for another journey through space, in search of a new world to plunder. Once again, a struggle between light and dark will unfold as yet another species fights to protect its world from the evil of the Shadow People. Whether the horrific events that, events that led to the death of humanity will repeat, however, remains to be seen. There is still hope that the forces of darkness can be stopped once and for all. But not this time. Final statistics. First aid kits to use two. Stimulants use zero. Saves 20. Normal difficulty. Four and a half hours. You got the bad ending. Oh really? I didn't realise there was multiple endings. That does not surprise me though. When have I ever gotten a good ending on a first run through a survival horror game? It just does not happen. It better not give me a bad ending because I used two first aid kits. I guess bullshit is that. Maybe like low saves and a faster time and I don't know. It didn't seem like a bad ending. It's like, there we go, the bad guys win, GG. The fuck is that? Oh, that guy is. It doesn't have a foot on his head, that's not where you put your feet. <laughs> I can put my foot on my head. 
were very solid that game. I really enjoyed that. I've, like I said, I played that all through it. And today, I mean, granted, it's only been um, about what five and a half parts, maybe five and a half parts. Well, I still can't the sixth part. But no, I really enjoyed that. I was literally stumbling around on Desera this morning, and um, oh fuck me, I realised why I was stumbling around on Desera this morning now. No. <laughs> Do you know that stealth bastard game on Desera? That said looked alright and stuff like that. I thought I'd see if I already had it on Desera for whatever reason. So I thought, oh, I'll see if it's on Desera. Or if I've already got it for whatever reason. I, I didn't know. I don't know sometimes. Like, I'm, I, I could quite easily have a version of it already on Desera for all I know. So I thought, oh, I'll go have a look at it on Desera. And I do what I usually do. I go to Desera and I start looking around and I find loads of mods and loads of great indie games and shit like that. Fucking sales done now, isn't it? On fucking stealth bastard. <laughs> Yeah, it was on sale, fucking ended at 6. What a spanner. Oh well, it'll be on sale again at some point. No worries. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. I went to check if I had a game and ended up playing another game all day instead. Oh well. No, I, like I say, I really enjoyed that. I mean, there's another two, and I'll definitely be giving them a play at some point. Definitely. Especially if they ask less questions. That'll be great. As long as the question ratio is lower, we're going to be good. Because I enjoyed everything. Everything else about that game I enjoyed. I mean, you could... Like I said, I'm just being honestly critical here. You could definitely point out flaws in some of the uh, character dialogue with each other. It was a little bit strung out sometimes. Like, you could have condensed it down, like, fucking to a quarter of what was actually said. I'm not even, I don't think I'm even exaggerating that figure neither. I think only a quarter of it was actually required. And if you wanted it to be longer, should have been something a little bit, I don't know, a little bit different going on or more interesting in dialogue, I don't know. But like I say, criticism wise, I would only say like the dialogue got tedious sometimes. Not the notes, not the actual scripted sequences or anything like that. Just the interactions between Tom and Colt. Everything else was fine, but Tom and Colt's interactions, like, ooh. Ooh. And, um... The, what, there's always the, um... You can, there's a generic complaint about Brick to the Face horror, but I thought it was actually well done. It was tastefully done. There was only about, what, f a handful, maybe four to five instances that were actually going to make you jump. And the tension throughout the rest of the game was actually well done. You know, the music in areas, and... Just the way it all unfolded out and shit like that. It was... It was done well. Like I say, done well. It's a very strange kind of format, really, isn't it? Like a 16-bit a RPG, but survival horror-ish. That's a strange formula. But worked out very well. I was quite happy with that. Very happy. Like I say, only, like I say, only one genuine gripe, and the other gripe is entirely on you guys. It depends whether some folk really despise Brick to the Face horror. But like, that does not count as a horror thing at all. You've got to have tension. Now, I think this had both, and it was also very, like I say, very sparing on the jumps. Very sparing. And th that's how it should be. It should be like, you spend 90% of the time expecting to be scared by a, a brick to the face, not being scared by a brick to the face. Only one in 10 times that you think it's coming, should it actually come. And that was about right there. That, the ratio was about right. Maybe a bit less than that, but you know, it, it was about right. So, like I say, very solid overall game. And best of all, guys, if you thought you liked it, it's 100% fucking free. 100% free. It's always the best price. Oh, you know, Claire says try and get a better ending than Liam. But you don't need to try. You don't need to try. I didn't even realise there was multiple endings, me. I, I had no idea. Absolutely zero fucking clue. I, like I was saying before, I assume it's based on completion time, like most are. Like how fast you complete it and how little items you use. And I would suspect it uses that system as well, but who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I, I like I say, the, um, the, the notes were well written and the, uh, the overall pacing of the game was nice. The, um, there was a lot of numerical code puzzles, but I think the puzzles that were there, I thought they were quite nice. You know, they, were, they range from, like, being fairly easy to, like, you know, not that easy at all, you know, like... The alphabet one was actually the hardest one of the lot. 
there was about fi four, five major puzzles, and the alphabet one pissed all over them all for difficulty. And the, um, what's the other one now? The algebra one. Wasn't too bad by comparison, really. Not bad at all. But the uh, the alphabet one fucking stumped me. Like I say, well done on getting that. I just, I just sat there for another half an hour, maybe. Still trying to figure it out. And I think I'd have got it. No doubt, but not as swiftly as what you did. Definitely. But yeah, the puzzles were nice, and um, combat wasn't actually that bad. I expected, like, I don't know what I expected from combat, but it wasn't actually that bad. You did want to evade stuff, although saying that, the amount of health I had, and ammunition and stuff like that, I think I could have slaughtered everything I saw. I didn't have to run away from it. So maybe you could say, the monsters should have been more punishing. Like, as soon as you see a monster, it should have just rinsed you almost. You, sh you should have only just been barely able to get away with killing it. But, like I say, I fucking... I, I have no real serious legitimate complaints there, other than the um, Tom and Colt dialogue, which seriously, I could have strangled myself near the end of it. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, end this. Enough. But other than that, I, I don't really have any complaints. And there, were, there was a lot of good shit to the game. I think I'm just genuinely surprised, like, you know, there's a, a little gem there, a little gem, that's not bad. I was saying to Claire before I even started recording, there's a serious, like, void of horror games, really. I mean, I know there's, like, you know, there's amnesia and there's other bits and bobs and stuff like that, but... I mean, that's the thing, like, name a horror game that was decently large in the last few years. Other than your ass, but that's not a game. That's ser that's serious. But I I can only think of Amnesia, and that's that's an indie studio game as well. Really, that's not a fucking main thing. So there is a big void of like decent horror games. There really is. I mean, I know there's all the slender games and other stuff like that, but I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about them. I don't know. Yeah, they've not pulled me in. They've not like. I don't know, it just doesn't seem to appeal to me, like, I don't know. Alright, mm. Might be alright, I'll have to give it a check out at some point, but... I don't know. But like I said, I was stumbling around Destiny and I saw this, and I'm like, Oh, this looks alright, what is it, some kind of, like, um, RPG or something like I'll give it a look. And then started reading about it, it's like, oh wait a minute, it seems like some kind of like survival horror type fucking RPG, very unique and strange. So go on, let's give it a look then. And uh, I'm glad I did now. I missed my fucking sale, I missed my Steam sale. But oh well. Can't believe I missed that. It'll be in, a, it'll be in an indie bundle probably. Would not surprise me, it might have already been in an indie I thought I already had it. I thought I already had it on Steam and then I didn't, and I thought I must have it on Destiny or something like that then, and I didn't, and then I found this. But as, as I was saying right at the beginning, guys, this I've actually played it in a dodgy order. I shouldn't have played this one. Although the guy was saying, I was reading the comments, and the guy was saying this is actually his favourite one of the three. It's the latest one, but it's also the bestly, bestly? It's also the best developed out of the three. So that's probably why he's got me more pride in it. It looks a bit better and it plays a bit better apparently and stuff like that. So maybe that's why he likes it more. But So it wasn't a bad one to play first. And I'll give the other two a look and see if I want to uh, do videos for them as well, but... I, you know, I, also, I also think I will. I, I really enjoyed that, I did. Very, very solid. Very solid. And like I always say, if you enjoyed it, it's fucking free, innit? <laughs> so no reason not to play it yourself. No reason at all. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. See you, dudes!